Sharika Jackson came second in her 200 meter heat at the Jamaica National Championships 2023. So, should we be concerned or should we be worried? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, on Friday, we witnessed something remarkable. Sharika Jackson laid down the law in the finals, finals of the women's 100 meter, breaking, well, uh, improving her personal best in the women's 100 meters from 10.71 to a world leading 2023 time of, yep, 10.65 seconds. Of course, the logistics behind this are kind of self-evident, but we will discuss in a few and how this impacts her 200 meters. Of course, this win means that Sharika Jackson successfully defended her National Jamaican Championship title from 2022 ahead of Sasha Lee Forbes, who came second in 10.96, and Natasha Morrison, who ran 10.98 to take that coveted third spot, meaning all three of these ladies hit sub-10 people. Off they go. Very, very good start by Sharika Jackson. Natasha Morrison is on the premises. Tom Sahira is knocking on the door as well. Step forward, Sharika Jackson, imperiously. Now, yesterday, a Saturday, the 8th of July, at the Jamaica National Trial, she opened uh, her 200 meters mark to victory. Most of us are anticipating this to be her true starting point towards defending, successfully defending her World Athletic Championship 200 meter title from 2022. Now, in her first race in the 200 meters at the Jamaica National Championships 2023, well, she didn't win. She actually came second. In fact, it was the 100 meter silver medalist, Sasha Lee Forbes, who won in 22.84 ahead of Sharika Jackson, who ran 22.88, and Natalia White, who ran 23 seconds flat to make it through to the semi finals. <laughs> Now, should this be cause for concern? I mean, at least two people asked me, which sort of surprised me. And you know what? Yes, I know I put up this heading. But in truth, people, no, this is no cause for concern. This young lady just ran 10.65, the world leading time, new personal best. She all right. She ain't injured. She's good. She's just managing her routes. And we anticipate this. She has not done a lot of 200 meters since the start of the year, to be very frank with you. Remember, at the Rabbit Diamond League, she set her now, well, her current um, current season's best of 21.98 in the women's 200 meters, of course. And in truth, has were consistent in the 200 meters, improving as one would expect bit by bit. Uh, here she was at the Velocity Fest. I think I think this might have been her first 200 meters, her opening 200 meters for the 2023 season. Do you remember this? First real treat of the evening, Sharika Jackson goes in lane number four. 
Look at her already come on the rest of the field, Sharika Jackson transitioning beautifully down the stretch has already shown fabulous form at 100 and 400 this season and in her 200 season opener she produces another fabulous performance, Sharika Jackson 22.18 that is a fine way to open her campaign over 200 meters Positive 1.1 meters per second, the wind speed, the time adjusted, 22.26. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. The fact is, if you are able to run 21.45 in the 200 meters last year when your PB in the 100 was 10.71, uh, you just ran at still relatively early, two months away roughly from World Championship 10.65, and you look like there's room for improvement. Now you have to understand that the faster she runs 100 is the faster her 200 meters is going to be. It's one of the reasons why Noel Lives is doing all that work in the 100 meters. You see, his aim is to break Usain Gold's insane 200 meter world record. And I suspect deep down somewhere in her camp, uh, Sharika Jackson's uh, camp's aim is the same, to remove that 34, almost 35 year old world record set by uh, Florence Griffith Joyner. Now, if you are running 10.65 in the 100 meters with clear room to improve and you were almost unbeatable last year, virtually no one can actually challenge you. I know there's a name that's being you know, thrown around based on how that person ran at that con their country's um, national championships. Maybe, but highly improbable. I mean, Sharika Jackson has a whole different level. 21.45 is something that it's really hard to explain to most human beings. It's an insane kind of time. So we have absolutely no worries regarding her coming second in her heat. What happened is that she was just cruising through, started to shut down about 50 meters out. Sashley Forbes saw this as an opportunity, did what she should have done trying to give herself a psychological boost and was able to come through that tape before Sharika Jackson. Sashley Forbes, by the way, is looking really, really good. We said that, remember, earlier and you all laughed at us. So the fact of the matter is there is absolutely no concern. Uh, today, Sunday, she's going to look great in the semis. But what you need to concern yourself about is how she's going to look in the 200 meter finals. And if she remains injury free, we have something in special in store. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Remember, you are royals. You are kings and queens. By the way, I meant to ask, what do you predict she will run in today, Sunday, the July the 9th, in the 200 meter finals? What are your predictions? Do you think she will run as fast as she did last year? She ran 21.55, if my memory serves me correctly, last year, meaning Sharika Jackson. Do you think she will dip below 21.50? I'd love to hear your comments. Write your predictions in the comment section. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings and queens, bless up.